Hey guys, I'm making this video to give you like quick thoughts on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox 720 and all these hyped up next gen rumors of consoles. The thing is, I did not want to make a video about this because I was not completely enthusiastic about this next gen trend bullshit. First, Nintendo unveils a console, suddenly everyone else has the incentive drive to put up a new one to try to compete. Even though we all really know that's not the reason. For Sony, it's a really bad time. Their reputation has gone down into the toilet, and I'm not just being pessimistic. I'm not just being... I'm not just a guy with a negative outlook on this company, but they have done some really, really terrible mistakes. They have committed that, and they have dug themselves a deeper hole each time than the last, like with the PlayStation Network debacle, uh, the disadvantages of being a uh, consumer, like the anti-consumer laws committed by the big three, even if Nintendo is not the guiltiest party. Anyway, I do not have that much of an interest in the PlayStation 4. I do want to see what it's capable of and whether or not it deserves the title of a next-gen system. I know, it's not using six, seven-year technology, but that's not even the point anymore. There are so many other fundamental factors to look into to really examine this console. Anyway, I'm going to be linking a live stream uh, link. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to cough there. I'm going to be linking... Uh, access to a stream below on my channel and I may make the decision to pull this video down or re-record my ideas for another video. I have just wanted to get this out of the way. I feel like I'm late for a party, I'm late for a special occasion, and I have not given my two, three, or five cents on this subject matter at all as of late. I may have done so in my comment section on dressing on previous vids of other people, but I'm going to tell you right now. I'm not falling for this next-gen propaganda hype that the companies want to sell you on. Why? Because for the PlayStation 4, let's take a look at all the fixes Sony has done. This is important. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, there's five updates according to the escapistmagazine.com. And no, I'm not really going to link it. You guys can just go there and find it yourselves. Uh, the first update was that it will allow you to... All, I mean, the first update that I want to note is that you can put the console on a low power state while completing downloads without having to fully power up your machine. Pretty much, you don't have to focus on downloading an item or, and be so preoccupied with that. Uh, in addition, the PlayStation 4 will allow you to download your games and, while also playing the ones you're currently on. Uh, okay, that sounds good, but this is the kind of thing that that should have been in the current gen. It should have been this generation. The 360 can do that, I mean, somewhat, as I've been spending time with one, uh, which baffles me a little bit. So this is nothing for me to get excited about. I do have a few grievances that they want to sell this ta and as a next-gen marketing tactic, which a little upsets me a little bit because they haven't really learned anything. The best time for them to make a new console is now, but I'm not going to buy into this if only because of their used games rumors that are starting to surface and becoming very perseverant. If they ban used games, if they ban consu pro-consumer tactics to such a large scale degree, then I will not buy this console. In fact, I actually had some money down on a PlayStation 3, a more updated model, because I wanted to get a couple of free games and I wanted to buy a bundle, but now I've been like thinking about canceling. In fact, if I buy it at GameStop right now, I just might be regretting it as much as I would have enjoyed it. And I kind of need a new controller, and I hate paying $50 for something like that. Uh, also, some other updates. Let me see. You will be able to connect your Vita to the PS4, like uh, moving between the 3DS and Wii U. Uh, remote gameplay will be a strong emphasis. Uh, anything else? Yeah, I'm sorry, like, I, I'm I'm looking through and I'm not trying to skim. It's just that I am not, I am in no way anticipating the hype for this console that are now delivering things which should have been addressed this generation. And I don't mean to make this video go on longer than it probably should. But something about a UI, I, I don't really understand it, but it's it may be like the Xbox 360. Oh, okay, rows of geometric navigation rather than icons. Oh, and you also... Okay, here's my biggest concern as a guy who's been recording videos for a while. What the PlayStation 4 will allow you to do primarily is re record, track your gameplay at all times, trim clips, 
meld them together, and share them with your friends. You can also watch live gameplay of your buddies, and even take... You take of their controller. I'm sorry, like I was just reading that last part, I don't understand it, but yes. This will put Hop Hodge out of business. Maybe, like, uh, possibly, because I, with the, my Hop Hodge, my HDP VR2, my high definition personal video recorder, mo model number two, whatever it's called, it will re it is able to record PlayStation 3 games, Xbox 360 games, Wii U, and PC, which, you know, it could still help me there in that regard, but for Sony and allegedly Microsoft, this could partially put the company out of business because I like my recording device. I also like moving up from 720 to 1080. Yes, I've actually managed to make arrangements to acquire a new device of a, of a stronger model and now grab 1080p HD. My concern with Sony is this. As long as they are implementing uh, wanted and new factors and we may finally get that cross chat gaming, cross gaming chat, not just on the Vita but on this console, uh, all of this will kick the PS3 to the curb. However, I am waiting on the anti-consumer, the negative, the cons of what will be from this console. Of how it will mistreat its users, on how PlayStation Plus, digital pricing, gaming models will be used to attack loyal customers rather than to accommodate their needs and desires. So, no, I am not giving Sony a chance here. What I am doing is observing them from afar and to actually see if they are willing to learn from their mistakes. Jim Sterling, as much as I don't really like some of the su discussions that he has had on particular subjects here and there, he, did, he was right about one thing. The phrase, shut up and take my money, needs to be transitioned over to shut up and earn my money. Will this console actually ha like warrant my cash? I really want to disagree. I am in utter doubt, and I am looking forward to Sony proving me wrong. Yes, I'm sorry I did not make this video much earlier to actually address my issues with the next-gen console. It, the Wii U itself, it is not a next-gen system. Not by my standards. Maybe yours, but it functions, as long as it functions like a PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, it's just an HD console a couple years late to the ball. And, you know, but if you like your Wii U, enjoy it, and also never be afraid to criticize the, the machine you bought. Because if you don't, you'll feel like an idiot and you'll just be angry. You'll be consumed by hatred toward the company, toward your rivals, your friendly console rivals. Look, I don't care what system you have. If you want to be a fanboy of the 360 or the PS3 or the Wii U, get off my channel. But if you can live in peace knowing that, you know, to each their own, that's fine. I welcome you here, alright? Now it's, uh, okay. We're going to move on now with more announcements as it as it comes to, uh, by the day. Today they have announced what the controller will look like. It is the DualShock 4. And uh, they are largely done with 6 axes. It has been a while. Uh, I do not have that much information, but here, go into the link below so that you can watch it yourselves. Come see it with me. I will be commenting probably as uh, Ocarina of Time fan. That's actually my profile, my Twitch TV. So I will link this down below and welcome you all to watch with me somehow. Also, one of the initial concerns I had regarding this console was whether or not its engine was going to be more advanced or if it would use more, like, more modernly built. It turns out that it will be using some form of the Unreal 4 engine. Let me see again. This is new knowledge to me, so that's why it's a little bit harder for me to keep in mind. Yes, here we go. Uh, a game by the name of... Let me see. Unfortunately, I cannot find the name at this time. But yes, it will be running on the Unreal 4 engine, and it will handle at least two teraflops of computational power. Basically, it's going to be a hell of a lot of bits running. Like, like a, a, a trillion ton. No, we'll just put it that way. I do not care about cloud gaming. Uh, let's just get that out of the way now. And will you always be required to connect to the internet in order to play any video game? Because right now, Blizzard is also announcing a version of the Diablo 3 game for the PS4. And uh, you know what? I don't give a fuck about Diablo 3. Uh, I haven't even played 1 and 2. It's just that I hate games with DRM, and I hate games like this that fail considerably. 
They're obviously looking to resell the game on a console market where it's kind of being revived. Like, it will only be resurrected as far as fans want. Okay, well, it sounds like so Sony is going to fix a couple of problems, but only very a small handful. Now, the question is, if we move on with this new console, if we embrace it, will it fix problems with DLC? Uh, cutting portions of the story out to distribute it, to redistribute it as a new portion of the game. Uh, day one patches, online passes, PlayStation Plus not letting you play games or uh, continue to retain them after your membership has expired. De uh, demos for day one patching, as well as demos period. Uh, will we see demos? Will we see more adjustments, more tweaks to that? Uh, will this be the end of physical gaming? Will What will happen to microtransactions in any game? Will they continue to appear in $60 games? <coughs> Dead Space. Uh, and the pricing model for this console is rumored to go between $300 and $400. I have no problem with the $300 console, as long as it's not a seriously butchered amount of gigabytes or terabytes between one and another like one severely lacking while the other is adequate N the white nintendo wii u was eight gigabytes while the black came with a game nintendo land and 32 gigs a, a drastic difference for between a 50 to 100 dollar price point what i don't want to see is the console being really just really inferior like one console having barely any substance while another actually has the standard you know what i mean i don't want to see that again and they also need to change the pricing model for the playstation 4 because what i don't want to see is us heading toward a 70 dollar asking price i don't want to see that and combine that with all the dlc and all the digital uh, little codes that you need oh uh, and uh, the pre-order, the day one pre-orders, when you buy a game, your pre-order code will not be active until a designated time period in which you will have to wait weeks upon weeks of activation. You pay for your pre-order code, you get your pre-order code, you get a valid iteration. It is valid, alright? In that case, why should I pay- why should anyone be paying these publishers and retailers the full price at once, you know? Why should they be why should they come to fifty nine ninety nine or sixty nine ninety nine on release day? It makes no sense. A few last details to touch upon are the graphical output. I am not a big graphics whore. As long as a game looks beautiful and the draw distance is at is okay, I mean a PS2 game could look great and function great. Why is it that with the PlayStation 3 Graphics have AAA costs, but the games are so much more shorter in story and replay value to accomplish. Okay, I believe those are most of my complaints. Those are my overall tidbits and strong arm points. I, I wouldn't even say strong arm. Just strong points of negative feedback towards Sony for the crap they've done. And every console maker, alright? I liked it better when we had the Dreamcast out. That was That was the golden age for console gaming. Now, we're just seeing mistakes, uh, like the PlayStation Vita, since this will be interconnected between that and the PlayStation 4. Like this leaving a game in a pre-installed condition in order to have it downloaded uh, in your handheld, that you must do it in a console. Keep in mind that I do not own a PS Vita, I, it's just word of mouth, but I can understand what they mean. In fact, most of the stuff I downloaded it... You know, like for DLC, for extensions of gameplay, is seemingly in a pre-installed condition. You download it once from your PlayStation Store, you need to download it again as you, um, as you immerse yourself in a game. It's ridiculous, it's nuts, and Sony needs to cut down their firmware updates. Players are constantly oversaturated with them. It needs to end. I hope that this console cycle, this new market, this new distribution, it has provides zero grounds for trying to once again screw over the customer and just focus on tech and gaming innovation. Alright? Okay, I am done talking. Here's the link below. Go watch it and tell me what you think. Leave your descriptions, leave your opinions in the comments below. Hell, even PM. Message me. Talk to me about this. Tell me what you guys think. And I am going to watch this and gather my thoughts. Enjoy!